did not hesitate to say the first time I saw a black kissing a white girl, I felt sick, felt nauseous. It was instinctively wrong to me. And I think that it's instinctively wrong to most people. Right now, though, most people are having their instincts dulled by propaganda. They're being taught that it's okay to mix, that the only, only difference is the color of skin and things of this nature. We have the right to hate. Uh, First Amendment gives us the right to hate. Nobody's going to make us love by hating us or by pointing fingers at us. Uh, every, and, of course, hate is a very subjective word. People can, you know, they hate, they hate the rainy day, they hate the, ne the neighbor next door, they hate all kinds of things. Now, if we're going to outlaw hate or punish hate, then everybody's going to be in jail because everybody does. And this past nine days, ten days, I've seen more hatred directed at me and my church than I've ever uttered in my life. Sending somebody out to commit a crime like that is Well, it doesn't make any sense for a white person to be offended by the word nigger. It doesn't make any sense at all. And concerning that word, which I'm sure is the main word that you're thinking of, Many blacks use that word. I've heard it many times myself, where they call each other niggers. So I think we need to end this taboo word business, the N-word. Give me a break. The Jews for hundreds of years have been promoting race mixing. In fact, the founder of the American Communist Party, Israel Cohen, in 1919, actually stated that it must always be a Jewish and communist goal to mix the races uh, and deliver America to the communist cause. Now, it's true that communism is dying. It's very evident. There's some people who don't want to recognize that, so I had mentioned that. But at the same time, it remains the Jewish goal to divide our people, and how better to divide our people than to mongrelize them. Ben Smith was a racist before I ever met him, before he even heard of the World Church of the Creator. And once again, there are many members that speak very strong words about the races, about the issues of our day, but they're not committing crimes. 